<laughs> I had to get in, I couldn't kick it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Have fun. We'll do. Be safe. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Ice breaks, it's like giants behind me. Whispers in the steps and lies on their backs. Walking through my forest, cutting down the trees. Hoping that this time I think I can save you. Previously on SLV, we sailed the northern parts of Antigua with our friends Christian and Cathy. <laughs> we rocked up in St John's, a very busy little town to drop them off, and today, after a few quick jobs, we'd be heading off on a new adventure to another island. We just said goodbye to Christian and Kathy. Alright, we love you guys. Bye guys. See you guys. Bye. Good luck. And uh, we're heading into the markets now to grab some fresh stuff because we're heading up to Barbuda. So it's going to take us all day to get there, maybe with the little wind that we have. Um, so yeah, we're just going to grab some lettuces and stuff because we're not sure how much food is up there. There's, there is 600 people living there, but there could be just enough for them or, you know, we prefer to take our own food if we can. <laughs> We should maybe even bring some for them. Yeah, I think we should. That outboard has not been used in a very long time. Look at the moss growing off it. It is hot in here. I was about to ask what the heck you were doing. What are you doing? Just having one last check on this transmission oil in this engine after we got that fishing line wrapped around it. And if it's still not milky in appearance, it means that the seal hasn't been broken and we're all good. You all right? Yeah, I actually, could I grab like a bit of paper towel? Yep. Definitely not milky, looks totally fine. Alright. What's going on? I uh, just gotta go back into town to grab some uh, engine oil. Into two shops. I'll try my third. All done. Heading home, replace just a tiny little bit of engine oil. I've grabbed some extra. We are going to run this engine and pull up anchor with just the port side engine alone. Okay. Because this one just needed a tiny little bit, which I've put in. The other one needs a little bit more, um, which I will put in and then we can just keep testing that whilst it's cold on the way over. Okay. today things. Yeah. Going it solo. Yeah. So calm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where's the gaff rally? Oh. We just got a Oh not a barracuda. Oh it's barracuda. a freaking barra. That's alright, I don't need anything here. Damn it. George wanted me to try and catch one, so this is perfect. Really? Uh, so I need a knife. Alright, if you haven't noticed, I absolutely despise a barracuda. I just oh, can't no, I've stand them. I have they noticed. They stink so bad. I've and never the seen smell. If your nose was turned up anymore, you'd be able to wrap it over your head. Probably. Wear yuck, it as a yuck, back to yuck, front yuck, hoodie. Yuck, 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 yuck. So George is meeting us here, but in Barbuda. Well, we're meeting him out on his 
spear fishing spot out here. Yeah, so I'm going to be a captain tomorrow, dropping Riley off for his play date and <laughs> picking him up. <laughs> and I'm bringing, uh, rather than cheese and dips, a dirty stinking old barracuda. Yeah, so what does he want this for? Just like chum? Chum. Ugh. No worries, George. Leave your laptop. <laughs> I've, never I've, been, I've never seen you work so hard. I don't have a friend lately. <laughs> I've been, I'm just going through all the old footage. It's great. We've done so much. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we have. <sighs> what are you going to do with the footage? Not sure. Remove all the nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. So this morning, we're going to pick up the anchor and drive Riley around the other side of the island. Well, just off there, isn't it? Off that point? Is that what you're meaning, George? It's sort of over there. Okay, around the island. So um, I'm going to drop Riley off for his play date and um, come back and anchor the boat by myself and just wait for Riley to return, I guess. You get, what are you after today? What are you guys going for? Wahoo. Are you finally going to get yourself a wahoo Probably today? Probably not. Did you um? Judge grease? a spear fisherman by the shots he doesn't take. Okay. Um, Did you grease that bit on your spear gun? On your spear? Yeah. Okay. Because he speared a fish last time with it when he was with George. He speared a rainbow runner, didn't you? Was it a rainbow runner? That's what I call them. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure what they're called here, but um, he speared it, and you can clearly see in the video that he did, and then it gets off. And then that the next day, Riley was like, what the heck went wrong? And he was looking at his spear and you could see that the, um, what do you call that? The flopper. Thing, flopper. It was stiff. So like, it just didn't come out. A rusty flopper. A rusty flopper. <laughs> so yeah, he's greased that up and hopefully we'll have more luck today. I just need to kick the chat. Can we kick the chat here? Can you please kick the chain over in there? Oh yeah. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get in, I couldn't kick it. I've been dodging FADs on the eastern side of Barbuda. About to rendezvous with my mate George. There's flying fish in the air. There's um, a lot of sea life. I would say that the water is brimming with you, Elena. And we are extraordinarily excited here on board. We are chanting at the bit. You know, I'm not predicting excited. And I'm predicting, yes you are, no, and I'm predicting a 40 pound wahoo. I'm going to drive the boat an hour and a half. Back. Emotion, like an omelet that I flip. Together at last, on a knife split. Answer sent to trick us. Crowley's throwing the barricade at the George. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Get me something big and tasty. I'll chuck you your dry bag. Yeah. Is this done up? Yeah. You want me to go back a little bit? Well, if you can, yeah. All right. No, it's all right. I'll swim. All right. See you later. Have fun. We'll do. Be safe. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> it's on. It's recording. Yeah.
well, there you have it. Captain Eli for the day. There are butterflies everywhere. So many butterflies. Come on. There's one there. One there. that I've been with Riley and on board the Vagabond 1 and 2. I've never taken the boat anywhere by myself. I've never been the captain. Um, so this is quite a significant event for me. And I just wanted to share with you, like I've always had this kind of false sense of security, having Riley as the captain, he's responsible for everything, kind of feel like nothing will go wrong if you have the captain on board, but I know well and good that things go wrong regardless. And it's just, like, I always thought I'd be super nervous, my heart would be beating really fast if I was to be on the boat by myself and I'm just really happy that now I'm doing it and that is not the case. Like, I know that I can do this and yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Absolutely. Until next time, right? Thank you sure. for taking care of him. No problem. <laughs> See you, George. Next I'll stay in touch on uh, the interwebs. The interwebs. <laughs> and I'm sorry it was such a f***ing oh, No, no, no worries, mate. That's why they call it fish in that kitchen. That's it. Get on your lads. See ya. Dinner soon, though, okay? Nothing. Lo siento. What happened? What's I'm going bad on luck. out there? Are I'm you even luck. going spear fishing? You're just going to the pub to drink beers <laughs> and come home. <laughs> Uh, no, but I feel like drinking now. Oh, boat town. Sorry, Eli. Tell me, what, did you see anything? No, he, he was like just blown away. He's like, we actually didn't see anything. Not even a shark. I mean, like nothing. Nothing so, today. Nothing. No really? And he was just saying sorry then. Not that like he needs to, but. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, at least you tried. You might not look it from here, but the beach was steep, and there was a shore break, making it no good for trying to beach the dinghy. As much as we wanted to explore land, we decided we'd have to wait. In the meantime, we'd burn around and watch the sunset. What does this place remind you of? I think it reminds me of the Tuamotos. Me too, I was Doesn't gonna say Ray Aurea. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like I'm in an atoll right now. It's weird, hey? The water's calm enough, the sand's wide enough. I'm gonna inspect the rigging. Yeah, I think it is. Last time I was in that hammock, and at least it's the wrong then. <laughs> I don't know why. Last time I was in that hammock, I deserted myself on an island and didn't sleep the whole night. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna jump in it just yet. <laughs> I'm wondering whether or not I could use this uh, as a backup sail. I reckon you could. Maybe on Cunningham. Yeah, we can get Cunningham to show you using this. <laughs> Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour. Now, ordinarily I'm quite complimentary about the food that you make. Yeah. Would you agree? Oh, uh, yeah. How do you think we're going tonight? Well, I followed a recipe. It's a Mediterranean fried rice, which I thought was a bit strange, but I was like, I'll give it a go. Don't try a Mediterranean fried rice. It just doesn't work. <laughs> so we're going to drown it in salt and chilli. I've actually gotten used to the taste. Have you? Mm -hmm. But I think I'll drown it anyway. Oh. Didn't put too much chilli. <laughs> oh, no. I like <laughs> Riley always gets the hiccups, just like Maureen and his mum, when they eat hot things. It's only ever happened to me once. That's so weird. It's good. Are you putting more on? It's Don't be ridiculous. It needs it, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
I've just read a really good article. We've been hearing a lot about what's been happening in Barbuda. There was the hurricane, obviously, which everyone knows about. But then there's been this like plan to sell off land, which has been causing huge sort of arguments and controversy and all that sort of stuff. And I'm just reading the article here, so I'll read I'll read some of it out for you guys. Islanders say that the government plans to overturn a centuries-old system of communal land ownership which will destroy their unique way of life and erase their cultural identity. The controversial bill introducing the freehold sale of land would revoke this 19th century practice. That's now, ridiculous. Now, that is so sell ridiculous. Sell everything that you've got so that you can build stuff. So you can build you resorts. Own. And Many fear the changes will open the floodgate to wealthy foreign investors and transform the quaint, pristine isle into a tourism hotspot. So that's one reputable article, um, but I've heard, you know, through of anecdotal evidence from Antigua, and we're going to go in, in here to Barbuda tomorrow and ask around and um, see what we can learn. Yeah, it's pretty sad, isn't it? You can just imagine how the locals are feeling. Like There's another guy that's like, Devin Warner, who's a local fisherman, says the government is kicking us while we're down. Hmm. Hmm. But we'll, we'll um, it's going to be a pretty touchy subject. But yeah. We'll go in there and delicately approach some people and see if we can get a feel on the general consensus. There's only 600 people here. Yeah. So, I mean, if we ask... If we are, if we talk to 60 people, that's 10%. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be that hard. And so, Elena, I think we might have stumbled across a microcosm for everything that is wrong with the world.